What's up guys? So I got some requests to do that same test I did yesterday but on 1440p. So um, I'm going to do that. Right now I'm going to use the Titan V. Uh, I didn't increase the power limit yesterday so that's probably why we got some crashes. Um, so this time I increased the power limit and added 150 on the clock. So the clocks, I'm going to jump right into it and not waste any time. The video yesterday was a little too long. So as you can see here, and I will, will run MSI's capture um, benchmark you you uh, utility uh, and run that so it's from left to right and then neon green it's minimum average and then maximum so I'll run that for 10 seconds and then stop it but we're looking like we're right around 50 FPS and again I will go into the settings and show you guys what I'm using everything's the same from yesterday except uh, down here we're running ultra ultra right now and this time we're using 2560 by 1440 so I'm gonna drop it to low and see what happens Set that so we got around 50 with ultra ultra and looks like 69 with ultra 1440 low DXR. So I'm gonna jump in. Uh, let me grab the TI 2080 TI and we'll try that next. Be right back. Okay, I'm back with the 2080 TI as you guys can see, and we're gonna hop right back into it. And let's see. All right, so right now DXR is on low. Everything else is ultra same as yesterday let's hop right back into that spot and start the benchmark so this is DXR low 1440p ultra and we are seeing an average of 83 in this scene now let's change it over to ultra ultra and see what we get We are right around 68, as I said before, from left to right, and the green is minimum average max. I think 1% lows and zero, uh, zero 0.1% lows and 1% lows. So, and we got 68 on ultra, ultra. So, let's finish off with the Titan RTX and see what we get. Okay, we're back with now the Titan RTXs, as you can see here and here. No overclock, as we've been trying to match these clocks with the other two cards because these cards are on water so that's why they're holding high clocks um, pop it into the spot and right here is the same spot DXR on ultra as well as 1440p ultra setting so right around 70 FPS um, and if we shoot it over to low I did do this without shadow plane I got a little higher those were not going by those figures so and on low we're looking at 88 so 88 so from the Titan V to the Titan RTX we are seeing a 20% 25% increase in low and then in ultra it's about a 40 40 42 percent increase I'm just roughly looking at these figures that I wrote down um, so as I said before in the 20 of the TI is very similar to this um, Titan RTX so as I said the Titan V does not ray trace anywhere near as well as the RTX cards but it still is doing a really decent job considering the fact that it doesn't have any RT cores um, so Stay tuned, and hopefully I'll have some more videos coming up in the next couple of days. Later.